Hello and welcome to the first episode of Showcase. In these videos I will talk about and show you some of my models I've painted in the past or just show you some cool stuff that I want to share. For my first showcase I'm going to show you all my Warcry terrain. This was actually requested a couple of times. Let's have a look. I think we can all agree that the Warcry terrain is fantastic. There's a lot of it and it looks great. In my other video I showed you how I painted the main ruins, but I only showed the smallest building. This video will hopefully give you an impression and some inspiration for your own terrain. The bell tower is one of the coolest bits of the kit. I am very fortunate that those small skeletons in cages still haven't broken off. Most of the techniques I've used in my other videos were used on this model. The bell was painted in Balthazar gold and heavy washes of Agrax Earthshade and Gnome Oil. I've also added some Nihilac Oxide. At first I painted the whole bell with that but it was too much, so I had to repaint the whole thing again. One of the most iconic pieces of this terrain is the statue head. The way I painted it was with a wraithbone undercoat, a thick wash of Agrax, Earthshade and several dry brushes with different white colors. The dark details are done with a contrast paint Leviathan Blue. I personally love all the rudimentary barricades, especially the ones that also incorporate parts of the ruins. With contrast paints they are very easy to paint. And this is my Warcry terrain. I can definitely recommend the starter set as it comes with all this scenery plus two warbands and two frames of Chaos Beasts. If you want to know how I painted this scenery in detail as well as the Corvus Cabal and the Chaos Furies, check out my other videos which you can find in the links below. I might do more of these kinds of videos in the future if I have something interesting to show you. Got any ideas? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.